the end has come. We're at the last video now. We're going to stick this game onto a congregate now. It might not be as, as finished as I would have liked, but that's what you get for rushing. What I've done, I've hopped back to my original file and I'm going to upload that one instead. It's basically the same game, but that's totally irrelevant anyway, since what I show you will work wherever you are. Whatever game you're in, this is how you go to congregate. Just before I do it, I've made a little icon for the game. Dimensions are 125 by 100. I've just exported it from Flash, so export image. Save it somewhere. Just replace that. So we've got an image to work with. There are a few steps before we can up upload it. We need to put the congregate API into it. So I'm on the congregate page and I've just found the code. If you want to find it yourself from the congregate home page, skip back a bit. So from congregate.com, just hover over games and find the developer center. And you can skip to the API overview. This explains everything congregate for you if you want to know a bit more about it. I'm just going to click it and then click the first instance of ActionScript 3 that I see, and it takes you to the ActionScript 3 code where we can just copy it. Copy that. We probably don't need all of it. We don't need to import event again and so on. We don't need all of these comments, but it's not going to kill us. I'm going to go back to my game and I'm going to do this on a totally new layer. So I'll make a layer at the top called Congregate Stuff. Now Congregate's recommendation is that you um, register with the Congregate API in frame 1. Now I've adjusted my game a little bit to have a bit of an intro, so I'm going to do it on the second frame instead. I'm going to let the game load in the first frame. And I'm going to put my congregate stuff on the second keyframe. This could go in your document class if you want to, if you want to set it up that way. I'm just going to paste in the code. So that's exactly what I took from congregate. You can see here that when it's completed, it will connect to congregate for you. And if we test it offline, if I test it here, when the game starts, you can see we get an alert up here telling us that um, because we're offline, because we're not on the site, it's connected to the shadow service and that's useful for tracing out the thing we're about to cover. We're going to look at um, submitting scores to the congregate services and this will help us do that. So I've loaded up the congregate API, it's no more complicated than that, that's all done. I'm going to go to my game over screen now and I'm going to put a keyframe and in the actions here, I want to submit the score variable of my game. So my player's score is held in a variable called score. I'm going to submit that to the congregate stats. It's dead simple. I'm just going to do congregate.stats.submit, I think it is. Let's just double check. We've got it commented in that first keyframe. Congregate.stats. I'm pretty sure it's submit. So we'll go with that. And then in brackets, you put a string value representing the, the name you're going to use for this variable on the website on the top scoreboard. So I'm just going to go score. And the second bit is the actual value of it. So I'm going to pass the variable score, which holds the player's score at this point. And I'm going to test that. So if I play a game properly, get into the game. Slightly different to what you've seen so far, but same game, effectively. Just let myself die. There's really no way to speed this up. Ah, just give it a minute. I'll take a drink. Two more. Boom. Oh, maybe not. Oh, yeah, we did. <laughs> so we go to the game over screen, and hopefully, you can see up there that we've got a trace statement saying we've tried to submit a stat a score of 110. So that's worked. You can submit as many different types of stat and um, different names of stat at least. There are only four types. I think you can have a min, a max. Um, they're all on the website. You can find them in here. Just navigate your way through all the documentation. That's really for you to look at. This isn't necessarily a congregate series, I just want to stick the game on there. 
So that's ready to go now. I'm going to export this. Export the movie to my desktop. Leave it as game. Get myself to congregate. Back a few pages. And I'm going to upload this game. So I'm going to hover over my name and choose upload a game. Hope it doesn't reveal any personal information along the way. I don't think it will. Unless you count my level as personal information. Title of my game here, point, click, win. It's for computers, not mobile devices. Let's have a game description. Uh, fast paced, shooting, action. Um, I don't know, I'll, I'll leave that for now. We can always come back and edit it. Fast paced, shooting, action. Exclamation mark. Uh, use the associated videos to make your own flash games. Game news, we can update that as and when we fix bugs and so on. Game instructions, use the mouse to aim and shoot. Use the A, S and D keys to trigger um, enhancements or key combos. Category. I'm tempted to go for a tutorial, but it's actually a shooter game, isn't it? The icon. Load that in. Collaborators. This is if you worked with other people, so you can put their congregate account in there. I haven't actually worked with anyone. I could put the guy who did the music, I suppose. Let's put musical bum. That's his name. Yeah, go. Let's me pick him. And the API callback URL is if you want your game to track certain stats, you can actually send them back to a web server. Now, we've not done anything like that, so I'm going to skip that. I'm going to hit continue. Give it a second to upload the image, and it goes to the next page where you upload the game. So we need to find the file. We don't in this case want to upload additional files. If your game does have external files you'll have to tick that. This game is exclusive to Congregate. I'm not going to put it anywhere else. I would like to receive bug reports. Agree to the licensing. I assure you I've read that at work. <laughs> I can say I've read every word but it's probably a lie. I accept. I am one of the creators of the game and I've got the rights. It doesn't contain any third party ads. Uh, what's this? Doesn't contain any outside logins, no. So we should be good to go there. And here's where we use our statistics that we've just done. So I'm going to add a statistic. The statistic name is score because that's what we told it in our flash file. The description is the score from the game. I have to just put the, the player's score. And here's where we get the types. So you have a max type where the biggest number is the one that's recorded, a min type where the smallest number is recorded, an add type, this is where you continuously add to it, so we could have a total kills on there, I'm not going to add that, or a replace where it just remembers the last one. We'll display a leaderboard. What's this? Uh, dit, dit, dit. Oh, don't worry about that, that's if you're using the uh, other API, which we haven't even ever discussed. Display name, optional, we'll just go score. And we could add some tags to our game. Let's add tutorials. Whoa, there's far too much stick action. Apply this. Add a tag. Let's just quickly see if tutorials in. That's pretty much the only one I'm interested in. Tutorials, there we go. And when we're ready, let's just save that. Did I actually hit that button? <laughs> I don't think I did. Save. So we've saved the statistics. Sorry, I should have done that first. And we hit upload to upload the game. Now, it won't go live straight away. It'll take you to a place where you can um, test it before you fully publish it. What's this? Oh, there it is. Musical bum. Not sure how long this is going to take to upload. Ah, there we go. So it's this is in preview mode. People can't actually see this just yet. 
It should load up in a sec. It's connecting me to chat, it's signing in. It's because the game told it to, I hope. We loaded instantly and flipped out, and we're into the game. So it's live on Tinter Web for my viewing. No one else can see it just yet, but I can sit here and have a go and make sure it works. So let's start it up and just get a little bit of a score to see if the scoreboard works. Although it's not going to display until we publish it. It's dragging quite a bit because I'm screen recording. Quite laggy. Let myself die now. Self dying, hopefully it won't throw any bugs. That is really laggy. I'm hoping that's just the screen recording because that's worrying. Let me mute that. Right, let's have a look down here. We've got the information, who it's created by, and we've got the information that we've added to it. So the tags we've put on, the description, the instructions. Eventually people can comment on it and rate it. And you've got the number of plays, which is always nice to see. Um, I'm Happy to go ahead and hit publish, I think. So let's take the plunge, hit publish. Hopefully, it won't lag like crazy for people. I'm not quite sure why that was. Connect with your friends. I'm not going to bother. I don't have any friends. I'm a sad loner. Can I skip this? Oh, it's published. It's just taking me there anyway. All right, I'm going to go to my uh, account and we can see that it's in my uploaded games, hopefully. There we go. Games by Ants. Sat proudly with two of the greatest Flash games ever made. I am talking, of course, about Mental Maths and Pixel Perfect. Random other stuff? Yeah, let's not look. Let's uh, just quickly check that the game works, and I'll close this video and I'll do a proper summary afterwards, I think. See if my high score worked. Woohoo! I have the top score. And we have an online game. Go play it. Seems okay. Kill some stuff. <laughs> okay. Right. I'll leave this there, but go and have a go. See if you can beat my score of 200. And I'll see you in the, the summary video where we'll